I mean. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my fourth episode of the uh, car review um, car review series. Today I'll be reviewing. Actually, no, I'll go. Come on. <laughs> I'll be reviewing this, the Ferrari GTO. I believe it is free-tuned, as they all are. Um, we are limited to the Le Mans racetrack today because, um, unfortunately, both the both the lobbies in London decided to kick me out every time I try and join. So um, I might as well do this. Let me just confirm to myself that it is actually fully tuned. Um, oops. Yep, it looks it looks like it's going to be fully tuned. Yes, okay. So we have... Oh, I didn't check it. We have 622pp, 838 brake horsepower, and it weighs just at one ton, or 1,022 kilograms. So it's going to be a quick car. Um, which is, yeah, it's going to be quite good. Um, power to weight ratio is very good as well, with 1.21. And let's, let's go into the... into the... Uh, into the track. Um, it'll probably be, be quite boring for the uh, first section, but it's when we get onto the uh, the actual corners themselves on this track, then it'll be turned into quite fun to see if we can test it out. I really don't want to be using this track, but I'm, like I said, I'm pretty much limited to it, so... Oh, this car sounds good. <laughs> yeah, this car sounds really nice. Gonna pop in here whilst I uh, saw out of everything. So there's the interior. It's very nice actually. Um, it's a bit dark, but we can live with that. Um, yep, it's a very nice interior. The bonnet cam and the out the the exterior. Um, one of my, one of my favourite looking cars. This car is just it looks really nice. So nice. Um, it's very dark in here for some reason. What happens if I turn around? Is it it'll get lighter? Oh, yeah, there we go. So you can see the interior a bit better now. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> looking at the speed, it goes up to 320 kilometers an hour. <laughs> okay, so they launch. It's good. Very good. <laughs> Oh, this car is very uh, stiff. Oh, this car's tricky to contend with. This car's really difficult to drive. Wow. Okay, yeah, this this car is um, it's more it's for the more experienced. I think this car. I would definitely recommend having traction on. I have it off right now, so it's. <laughs> right, I'm going to a bit of a straight now so I can test out the speed or acceleration. 90. Already hit 200. Oh, he has 5 gears. Oh, okay. His map speed is 207 or 210, something like that. I thought he had 6 gears, apparently not. Oh, yeah, the brakes are very good. <laughs> this car is impossible to drive. <laughs> I'm driving the outside view just because it's easier for me, but. He always wanted to change the sixth gear there, but there isn't six gears. <laughs> That's one problem with the car, it needs a sixth gear personally. See, it's really squirmy on the braking, it doesn't like to. Yeah, something on the uh, weight distribution is making the front squirm when you brake. That's why it's so tricky to drive. Um, I think traction would sort out. Um, yeah, I really need. A, I really feel like it should be a sick gear though. Very, very squirmy under braking. Yeah, I span it because it's squirming so much. Yeah, 
your turbo is <laughs> with a lot of turbo in it. I was pretty sure this car wasn't designed to be going this sort of speeds. But um that's probably why it's so squirmy. <laughs> I'm broken. And the braking is really powerful. I think if you were to let off a bit of the braking balance it might uh if you let off a bit of the pressure of the braking then it might stop squirming a bit, but in the end it will squirm because um just the way that the car is designed I think. This car's very tricky to drive. I'm really putting a lot of tension into it just to drive it. I would I would not recommend driving this car first of all. Unless you really know how to tune cars, then I would I wouldn't recommend driving this because uh, it's quite difficult. <laughs> oh yeah. One mistake and you're off the track. You really are. Now I know how to drive the car, I'm going to try and do another lap but properly this time. It's very difficult though. <laughs> I'm really struggling with this. Um. Really having to put a lot of attention to this car just to keep it on the track. That's quite handy though. If you're braking into a sharp corner, you can. Um, you can out, you can break into it whilst turning, and it'll turn really quickly into it. It's probably the only advantage of squirmy braking I can think of. You can you can basically break and turn into the corner like that, for example. Let's do some drifting. See if I can, or not. Apparently. <laughs> I'm trying to do some drifting, but it's going to be difficult. Such a twitchy car. I think the problem is it's so light. It's um, it's only a ton, so it is going to be really light. That's probably the only. That's probably if you were to take the weight reduction off, I think it would drive a lot better. I'm not going to get this thing to drift. It's it's impossible. Until the turbo kicks in, there is literally no acceleration. I'm going to go from standstill right now. As soon as the turbo kicks in, it just really goes mental. <laughs> yeah, this car is fun to drive, I'll give you that. But other than that, it's just point it's a pointless car to drive. I mean, if you want to mess around with a car and um, have a lot of fun, yes, this car is, is uh, recommended, but for a normal driver's car, it's not very good. Um, Like I said, I'd probably put I'd probably put um the brake balance a bit less probably um, and take the weight reduction off because the weight reduction seems to be not helping the car at all. Um, it's a bit like the Lotus Elise in a way. It's it's, it's quick, um, but it still just doesn't quite have the uh, it doesn't have it just it, it has too little weight to. Work with the car. The car can't handle how much weight there isn't in the car. Yeah, this braking is. I would definitely put the braking a bit less pressure. Other than that, I think it uh, should be okay if I try to do that. And well, I recommend putting the gears a bit longer as well because um, it only has five gears and it's quite short gears. Overall, it's a very fun car to drive. I'm really enjoying this, even though it's difficult. A bit like the, uh, a bit like the RX-7. Very difficult to drive, yet yeah, still fun to drive. My tyres are taking a beating with this car. They really are. Come on, steering wheel. Why was it doing that? Steering wheel was being annoying, it wasn't that? No, no, sorry, my con the, uh, the car steering wheel itself. The uh, I'm using controller, obviously, but the, the this steering wheel that I'm turning right now, not I'm turning. Right, I'm turning the joystick to uh, turn the steering wheel in the game, but the steering wheel in the game is was being annoying. I 
can say it properly, so I just had to make it clear. So if you start drifting or spinning out or anything like that, if you're still going flat out, you're not going to save it. And to be honest, you're not going to save it when you're not even accelerating either. <laughs> Let's try some low gear changes, see what the difference is. It's about 5,000 revs, it decides to just go mental with the, with the gears. Oh, wow. This car is crazy, I've already reached max speed. That is stupid. Oh, too much counter steer. I was doing so well there as well. That's a shame. It might have been my first proper drift. But no. Such a twitchy car. That's probably the weight. Yeah, this weight is a bit... Yeah, it's not really helping. I do like the interior of this car. It's, it's very, uh... It's very, uh... It's very classic style. I really like it. Oh, this car is difficult. Wow. <laughs> I'm making this... Pro I'm probably making this look, uh... Easier than it is, and I'm not making it look good. <laughs> but it's probably it's, it's a lot more difficult, difficult than I'm making it look. Yeah, the braking just doesn't quite have the. Uh, but it has way too much braking pressure. I think is the problem. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so that was this. Uh, Ferrari GTO. Um, oh, it has fla it has these flappy things as well. <laughs> um, way, way too powerful and not enough weight in it. I think that's this. the main two problems: is the uh, the car just can't handle how little weight there is. So, um, so. Uh, this has been a slightly different episode than normal. It's been a uh, like I said, I would have done it in London, but the uh, they just they didn't kick me out, but the game decided to just not let me into them because because uh, the game is being annoying like that today, as it always is, every single day. <laughs> um, you know, you don't know how many I, I went. Oh, this is what I mean. <laughs> no. Well, that has been the. Uh, fourth episode of my car reviews and I was